going from lanes one to eight tutors France and van der Kolk first Applegate Lindbergh Indriani and Alonso Morales going in lane eight Spain's Alonso Morales the 22 year old who managed to post a 239 62 in the qualifiers and qualified ahead of Janina Brewer of Germany goes in lane eight going in lane one bronze medalist in the hundred breast the Dutch swimmer Marta Tutors goes in lane one now this 15 year old showed some fight and really impressive stuff in patches Suchi Indriana eighth in the hundred breast final very good fly and breaststroker Michelle Franson of Belgium goes in lane two the 21 year old she made the final in Glasgow at the world championships but she was disqualified perhaps a point to prove for the Belgian swimmer going in lane six for Sweden is Pernilla Lindbergh the 22 year old swam three finals already without a medal at Rio 2016 goes in lane six Netherlands with representation in the form of tutors in one but also in three Marlou van der Kolk the 23 year old silver in the hundred back and bronze in the 200 free van der Kolk goes in three after a 231 41 but it's two great British swimmers who will go side by side in lanes four and five. Jessica Jane Applegate, two medals already at Rio 2016 and looking for a third, but this time to be a gold after a silver and a bronze. Jessica Jane Applegate will swim in lane five. And she'll go alongside Bethany Firth, the 20 year old. Gold in the 200 free, gold in the 100 back, silver in the 100 breast. A good all round stroker and a multiple Paralympic Games champion. Bethany first Paralympic record in the preliminaries. Melede Shabalina's world record. Might be a mark she'd want to chase down, but she'd need to go a good five seconds faster. And the Paralympics record she set in the preliminaries. Tutors, Franzen, Van der Kolk, Firth, Applegate, Lindbergh, Indriani, and Alonso Morales of Spain. Well, first got off to a very good start then underwater again so impressive as she comes up in front of any other swimmer in the pool and by some margin as well Applegate will look to go with her just swimming alongside the uh, fellow great British swimmer going in lane three though at the moment Marlouf van der Kulk looks to be very good for a challenge for the uh, third place touch at the wall while taking it out in far more subdued fashion somebody who lit it up in the 50 fly earlier in the morning was the 15 year old Indriani of Indonesia well Firth touched in first 29.08 she touched in very hard at the wall it was almost as if she touched mid stroke but she got away very well from the wall a strong push up so Firth easily in uh, first position at the moment but Applegate and the Dutch swimmer van der Kolk neck and neck for the silver at the moment Firth though looks as though she's able to consolidate and perhaps even build this lead a little she might have a bigger lead on the second turn well indeed I think she does Van der though one of her stronger strokes and uh, certainly will be looking to bring it home clearly but backstroke is arguably her strongest so a second place touch for uh, Van der Kulk. she'll be wanting to hold on to middle position but she does know that Alonso of Spain going in lane eight if she's left it too late and I fear she has is not going to be able to make up anything in the breaststroke she was the gold medalist in the hundred breast indeed there is a, a little bit of a challenge being mounted from way behind though but the problem is is that the swimmers in the opening hundred have pulled out to such a lead with first ahead of Funnel Kulk and Applegate who are virtually going alongside one another neck and neck 
will be challenging for the bronze and silver. These three swimmers are so far ahead of anybody. Gold is almost certainly the first. And indeed, Van der Kulk and Applegate should share silver or bronze. But who will claim the second place finish here behind Bethany First, who has now got just over 25 to go to the wall? Well, she's absolutely dominated the race, there's no question. It's been an incredible performance. We knew from her qualification time she was going to be a lot faster, but to see it in action is quite impressive. Just off world record pace, but she's got the gold surely from here. Well, the battle for silver is on. Bethany Firth is going to touch, and it's going to be a new Paralympic record time, perhaps. It's uh, well inside Paralympic record time. It looks like Applegate is going to close out with the silver to make it a 1 2 for Great Britain, while Fanner Kulk of the Netherlands finishes Rio 2016 with a very distinguished swim and a bronze medal in the pool fourth to Lindbergh of Sweden fifth to France and of Belgium sixth to Tutas of Netherlands Indriani finishes seventh and Alonso Morales touches in eighth but Firth is the champion Went out hard, touched under 30 seconds in the opening 50 with a fly. Bonacook and Applegate sharing a moment. Bonacook finishing in bronze medal position. Well, Bethany first started well. She went out in under 30 seconds for the opening 50 meter fly. She consolidated her lead with the backstroke. And by the time she hit the uh, breaststroke, she was so far ahead. It was only about what sort of time she'd be swimming. Brought it home to touch in Paralympic record time at 2.19.55. With Applegate touching second ahead of Fanner Kulk. It is a 1 2 finish for Great Britain.